let's start with section 51 what is section 51 advance money forfeited i hope this section came in may 16 exam i i don't have any surety that it came or not but i i'm i'm having i have read the question paper i don't i'm not recalling it right now so let's continue section 51 advance money forfeited what is this advance money forfeited any money taken from a prospective buyer who was willing to purchase the property from the sec and for this purpose he had paid advance to the sec but he failed sorry he failed to pay remaining consideration and and that is he made a default in the payment therefore ssc for fiated the amount what do you mean by for fiated he kept the amount with him so it become the amount that he has received from the prospective buyer as an advance it become as it as his income because he has not transferred anything and he has got the he has got the advance also so how to calculate it if the case is of before 1 4 2014 then how to solve then it will be fvoc less transfer expenses net consideration less index cost of acquisition or cost of acquisition so in case of index cost of acquisition how to get the index cost of it the cost of acquisition amount that the date he has purchased less the amount he has forfeited advance forfeited and the amount that will come into 1081 divided whichever the year it was assuming it 447 or what ever relevant year so this is the pattern of doing if it is before 14 2014 but if the case is after 14 2014 the advance money will not be deducted from cost of acquisition but it will be transferred where i guess transferred to income from other sources and it will be taxable so let me tell you the effect of doing this after doing after see if the cost of acquisition let me take my calc and on that i'll show you wait let me take a fresh page cost of acquisition see when you do this fvoc assume 5 lakhs and less transfer expenses nil net consideration it comes to 5 lakhs less index cost of acquisition in index cost of acquisition assume you have got the index cost of acquisition as 4 lakhs when the cost of acquisition was 2 lakhs the he has purchased the property for 2 lakhs 
less index cost of improvement there is nothing so nil and then you get long term capital gain since it is index cost of acquisition index cost of acquisition so 1 lakh gain now the effect of advance forfeiture it was 2 lakhs he has taken an advance for selling the property to the prospective buyer but the buyer made a default and he gave a advance of 50000 so what is the effect for that 5 lakhs same less transfer expenses nil 5 lakh came down net consideration less index cost of now index cost of acquisition will be wn1 working note see now see the working note W N one. So index cost of acquisition is equal to the cost of acquisition less advance forfeited. The advance forfeited amount we have decided as fifty thousand. So cost of acquisition we have taken as two lakh. It was. It is all assumption. Fifty thousand. So now the index cost of. Uh, so the cost of acquisition now is one lakh. Fifty thousand. Now we have to multiply it by one zero eight one and the remaining down section. Uh, now down value whatever it is, whichever the relevant year he has purchased. Assume I am taking any value x x. So now the index cost of acquisition came to three lakh. So here index cost of acquisition is three lakh. Now uh, less index cost of improvement is nil, and the long term capital gain comes to rupees two uh, lakh. So here. At the rate of twenty percent flat rate, he has to pay twenty k. That is twenty thousand. And at the rate of twenty percent, he has to pay forty k for just taking this advance. So this effect was a bad effect. So the government or the finance ministry has made the section section fifty one. Uh, amendment and they have told that the advance money whichever is forfeited will be transferred to income from other sources and not from the cost of acquisition it will be reduced so this is the effect but after 1441 you have to simply transfer it to in to income from other sources because it is convenient and very economic to do i hope you have not copied anything right now so i'm giving you the time to copy please copy this much pause the video and copy I hope you all have copied, copied this much. I hope you have copied. Please copy the working note if you want. Pause the video and copy. I hope you have copied. A small section remaining. What? is the effect if the asset is destructed which asset capital asset ca capital asset is destructed not current asset capital asset is destructed what is the effect if the capital asset is destructed by fire or whatever means so the foc it will be assumed as sale foc is equal to Insurance compensation receive. This might come for the theory part. So, put a star mark for theory and write theory over here because there are no sums such on it as I have seen in the practice manual. Please copy this much. i hope you all have copied so i think we should take a small revision no let it be i'll take the revision at the last i'll speak one more small section section 50b slum sale what is this slum sale means see if you are an industrialist and you have two or three units and you want to sell a particular unit such units are a capital asset and you are selling such units and you are getting an income a capital gain so let's 
see how to calculate the capital gain in the following manner first FVOC the fair value of consideration or full value of consideration less transfer expenses very simple this is it will come net consideration now it is important see I made a star mark I'll write down net worth of undertaking what do you understand by net worth of undertaking in this there are no index cost of acquisition no no index cost of acquisition and no cost of acquisition and no index cost of improvement and no cost of improvement only net worth of undertaking what do you understand by this if you have sold asset for 100 lakhs the cost of the asset less transfer expenses 100 lakh the cost of asset is 90 lakh so net worth means the cost of the undertaking undertaking means the unit assuming it has 90 lakh the capital gain comes to 10 lakh so this much is clear i have wrote it with pencil if you want you can also write it with the pencil long term capital gain or short term capital gain let's see what is net worth of undertaking is it visible okay net worth of undertaking how to calculate book value of non debt receivable asset non depreciable asset means what land building and all debtors also plus WDV of depreciable asset WDV of depreciable asset means the if the provision of depreciation is given on the credit side net it off and bring the actual value of the depreciable asset and then less book value of outside liabilities I hope this much is clear then you will get net worth x x x x x x less get triple x okay please copy this much the capital gain chapter is completed now where it's all sums I hope you all have copied it down let's stop the video let's start with the practicing part practice manual sums